Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my full review of the e.l.f. Cosmetics. So this is the Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Natural, which is previously ivory, that's what it said on the website. So just as a heads up, I've got oily skin, I've got large pores, I've got problem areas, and so I've been trying this out because I really want to see exactly how it works with my skin and if it can last throughout the day, if it transfers, all that good stuff. So let's just jump right into how this has worked for a full week using different techniques. Another thing that I'm trying out this week is actually these concealers. So this is the HD Lifting Concealer. And the shade that worked for me today is Fair. So now I've got a bunch of my other makeup done and I can talk now. Um, I just wanted to show you how we are looking before I haven't set anything except for under my eye. Zuh. <laughs> so I haven't set anything apart from under my eyes. And so you can see, I mean like that concealer is a little bit darker. It was the only concealer shade I could buy from iHerb so I don't quite know if it, I'm sure that they've got other shades. I hope so. Um, but it's not looking bad on my skin right now. It's not as shiny as other ones I've had. I'm going to really try today to just like not set it so that I can show you exactly how it works. But yeah, I'm, I'm not mad about it at all. And now this is how we are looking once lipstick is on. So I've had this on for maybe like half an hour. Um, so, so far, so good. I would really like to set it because I can feel like it, it just needs to have that foundation set down. Um, it is quite late in the day, we're approaching 12 because I didn't think that we would be going out so I didn't really put makeup on because it's a Sunday. But uh, let's just see how this goes for the rest of the week. I'll be trying it on every day, different techniques like I've done previously and we'll see how we go. So it is now 9pm so I've had this makeup on since 11 o'clock so it's about 10 hours of wear so far. I only had on my primer, there has been no setting powder, there has been no setting spray so nothing to advantage. This foundation is that how you say it? But anyway nothing to make it seem better now. I've been running around a decent amount, I've been cooking over a hot stove and uh, yeah, considering that I've already read I've been doing, um, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well this has lasted. My nose is shiny as all hell, but I haven't noticed that this has actually started to separate yet at the 10 hour mark and I normally see something start to happen. It's not looking too bad on my forehead. My nose definitely needs some help, however. Now, uh, it's not transfer proof, guys. <laughs> it's not. So, uh, that's just oil though. <laughs> First impressions, not so bad. I'm going to continue wearing it in different ways during the week. So let's just hop onto tomorrow and see how it goes then.
So it is now nearly 7 o'clock, so I've had my makeup on for just over an hour. And this is how the foundation is looking. As you can see, it still hasn't been able to cover this up. It is one of those really awful to cover um, bloody, you know, like those blood spots. Yeah, so it's not really fun. But in terms of the finish on the rest of my skin, so I'm so caught off by my highlight because I love that highlight today. Um, it's actually not looking bad one bit. One thing I would say is the concealer shade doesn't really match with my um, foundation shade. But my pores aren't more pronounced. Everything worked well with it. It's, yeah, it's just that it's exceptionally hard to cover. But in terms of my other spots, it's actually done a pretty good job. But yeah, you can really, really tell that that concealer does not match. So you can see that strange discoloration splodge there. But then you're like, well, what am I meant to do? So let's see how this rainy Monday goes. 7.54 p.m. So I've had this makeup on for nearly 14 hours. Can you believe that? I haven't blotted. I haven't done anything. This is hideous. It's been driving me nuts all day. But I haven't done oh, that highlight. Looking at my skin, not just the highlight. Um, it hasn't separated much yet. I've been itchy, so you, you can tell from all of my other foundation reviews. I tend to separate a bit here. It's gotten kind of greasy, but I would continue as is. If I was going somewhere, I would just touch up my lips because obviously they need touching up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually about to have a shower. So I'm like, I'm really not mad at this. This is impressive. So far, 14 hours. Let's get back to this, shall we? So for today, this is day three wearing it. I'm not going to be applying setting powder or setting spray. So I've just got that primer on. Anyone that knows this channel knows how much I adore this primer. It is the best thing for my oily skin. You can see after having this stuff on for nearly half an hour, there is still a shine that is going on around the place. So I just want to see exactly how well that wears when I've actually got primer underneath instead of just my regular moisturizer. Hello, Pixie. So let's just see how we work when we put on our contour. So this is by Nabla. I think one of them's called Cameo. The other one's called something else. I don't know what this eye look is. I'm reviewing this palette right now and I'm just going to use the mirror in it. Ooh. Ooh. Now obviously when you blend powder onto something that's not quite fully set, it can stick a little bit. It's okay, we're just trying to make it work, right? Now you can see I wasn't really able to completely cover this which is sad. When trying to find out the colour of this, I completely dropped it on the floor, but it's Above and Beyond by Colourpop. As you can see, putting a powder blush straight on top when it's not set doesn't work the absolute best. It's like the first place that you hit, it's stuck there forever. Of course, I've just got really childlike cheeks today. Now I've turned my sound on. This is the final look without using any setting spray, setting powder. So you can just see exactly how my skin is looking. It's 
It's not too bad. It does feel kind of tacky though. And I can see that I'm still a little bit shiny. So it feels like you really would have to set this foundation for it to really last. But I want to see exactly how well it holds up at the office. Because it is now 6.40 and I'm running really late because I need to get to work early. So I'm going to keep this very short. But I just wanted to show you exactly how we are looking. So I'll see you in hopefully 12 or 13 hours when I get back from work. Okay, bye. So it is 6.38 p.m. You might be able to see that. You might also be able to see Philip DeFranco. Um, just catch up on my news update of the day. So let's just jump right into it. Look at my shiny face, guys. It is so shiny. Oh my god. So as you can see, I've had some separation that's actually started to happen all around here. So with it being... It's literally been 12 hours since I last checked in, but 13 hours since I was applying my makeup. So that's how long this has had, along with a very stressful day, a lot of running around. Um, hmm. I would not, I repeat, not be going out looking like this. So it hasn't really separated on my chin, which is great. But the shine, oh, that shine is so there. I can see that cat fluff that's been irritating me all day here. Um, it hasn't separated too much on my pores here, but around this area, this is where I tend to get it. Like, if I had a moustache, like, that's what would happen. And also, I can tell that with this mascara, I clearly did not add enough powder. That's why I've got this weird little teardrop here. But up here, it's not too bad. It's just, it's just very shiny. So you can really see, like, because I've obviously got my ring light on and it's like, Hi! It's like, remember when Jenna became a disco ball? That's like me right now, like just looking down on people. I would say on day three, this experiment has definitely been a failure. Tomorrow I'm going to try just using powder. Now I've got most of my face done, it's time for this beautiful powder. So in case you don't know and you haven't seen my channel before, this is the matte setting powder from Cover FX and uh, it is high key one of my favourite things in life. As you can see, what our skin is looking like now is very similar to yesterday. It's got that definite shine to it um, and it's still a little bit tacky. This feels like a foundation you actually really do have to set. So I'm just putting this on with the Beauty Blender. I don't like to use too much powder because otherwise you can look very cakey and that is not the look that we're after. Hello Pixie! Just add a little bit more just over here. You meant to add this only in your oily spots but I actually get oily in a lot of places. And then this is how we're looking with the powder on. So you can see it's definitely locked in place, so I'm not going to do setting spray today. You can still see this, which is super frustrating, but I don't want to add on heaps and heaps and heaps of concealer, you know what I mean? It's a Wednesday, it's probably going to rain today just because it's winter, it's been raining every day. And this is how our skin is looking. I need to exfoliate my lips, I apologise. <laughs> But my skin is looking very matte and um, the powders went on top of it much easier than when I did not set it. Um, but it still feels strange to have not um, used you know, like setting spray. So I'll just see exactly how this goes throughout the day. It's going to be a long one. It is nearly 7 o'clock so I need to get going to work. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what time I'm going to be checking in with you guys. But hopefully it's not too late. Oh my gosh, the cat's just broke into the room. Hello! I know, I'm back! It is 7.15 so I've just got back from work and so now I just wanted to come and check in with you guys about how this foundation is done. So I've got to say it was like 5 something o'clock and I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I was like, you're kidding, it hasn't separated, nothing strange or untoward has happened 
So I don't know if we've actually found the cure to everything being just using satin powder because this is amazing. So I put my makeup on at like 5.20 this morning and it's now 7.15. And I went for a, str a strenuous long ass walk with my previous boss at lunchtime and it was like sunny, windy, everything. And for my face to look like this, wow, that is, um, this stuff is already performing like amazingly. So I'm really, really impressed with that. I've got some shininess, so if I blotted this, then that would honestly be fine. Like, that's, that's crazy to me. It's just crazy. So I just wanted to check in and let you know that. And tomorrow I will try everything minus the powder but using setting spray. Most of my makeup is done except for my lips because I'm not applying powder. I wanted to show you how it is looking because I put powder products on. So this is Colourpop Highlight and Flexitarian. We've got our Nabla contour on and this is another Colourpop blush but I, I don't know if it's Parakeet or I think it's Parakeet. It's a really nice shade anyway. But you can see what my pores are looking like. There is there's shine in particular around this area, so it's not ideal. So I want to see how my setting spray alone can work on this. So this is mattifying setting spray, hence the need to shake it up because it does have some clay in it. Go for it. Um, so I'm just going to let this all set and then I'll come back and check in with you once I've got my lipstick on and all that good stuff. And so this is how we are now looking with our foundation done, our makeup all done. I don't think that just using the setting spray will be able to lock this in place enough. It does have clay in it, obviously it's a setting spray, but uh, I'm a little bit apprehensive for how this will turn out today. I'll be interested to see how it compares to when I wore just um, the primer in this, but let's try it out. Overall, like, the look of everything is pretty good. <sighs> that concealer isn't the most amazing to me. Just because it, it still can't really cover this, so... But maybe I'm too demanding. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. But I guess I'll see you... It is 6.30, so I've got to get going to work. And, um, yeah, I will see you when I'm back. Hey, okay, bye. It is, like, 6.30 at night, and I'm just feeling like this right now. I am so many levels of tired. It's been such a long day at work. I'm just done. But, oh, mm. for now, we are here to look at this mess. So this is what I noticed as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm super shiny. This is not looking good, honey. No. Wow, there are pores. There is shine. I look like I've got a circle on my nose because of this ring light. I'm working on getting box lights, okay? Working on it. I just need to get some money. Yeah, I'm I'm not one bit convinced that this is the the way to do this. You need to set this foundation. Has that been coming off? It's not really smudge proof right now. I'm not happy with the way it's working right now. Like setting it is needed. Big time. It's the final showdown. I've been wearing this stuff for a full week and I have just ordered their putty primer. So I'll be doing a review of that as well very soon. And I'll be trying it out with this too. But I just wanted to see how this worked with my regular um, skincare, my regular bases, regular everything. And I really like this foundation. So as you can see, it's still, it's not the most full coverage. I'd say it's medium. 
but in terms of the formula and everything, I find it's worked so well. <sighs> the only problem is you really do have to set this foundation. So using a powder on top helps it totally stay in place, just lock it all in, which is fantastic. Um, it's just, for someone that's like me, um, <laughs> I have very oily skin, so my skin will just eat makeup if it gets a chance. It's incredibly hungry. So it's, it's just something to bear in mind. I find that the color natural really does match very well on my skin tone and it lasts throughout stressful times at work and long work days. And so if it can handle that along with exercise, I'm like, dude, this is so worth it. Um, I can understand why they call it a flawless finish. I think that this would work really well for people with no noily <laughs> with normal skin as well dry skin i think that you should be able to use this one quite well you might just want to have a um what do you call it a moisturizing uh, primer beforehand or i mean i always apply moisturizer it's just the, the lighter kind but i've never had to deal with dry skin in my life so i can't really recommend to you but i can recommend to oily skin people this is good it's cheap, it's drugstore. This is actually gonna be replacing my Wet n Wild one. So if that's anything to go by, that's good. And it's actually better than that Bounce Foundation from Beauty Blender, which was $68. So this was, I think, about $10 or something. So I'm like, who's coming for the competition? Like seriously, they are doing damn good things at e.l.f. So. I really have enjoyed trying this out this week because it's turned out a lot better <laughs> than other ones. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon um, with a review of that putty primer. I've got so many things that I'm reviewing, it's crazy, so do just subscribe to the channel. There's new videos every week. Work is really intense so I don't have that much time. I will be doing wedding videos as well. There is just a lot that is going on till the end of the year. And we're already in August and it's mildly freaking me out. <laughs> but you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.